Good day. From the ABC Columbia studio, I'm Kimberly Davis. For Thursday, March 30th, here are your trending headlines. An arrest has been made in the 2011 double murder of a mother and her child. 25-year-old Chandra Alston and her three-year-old daughter, Malaysia Boykin, were found dead in their apartment in what Richland County Coroner Gary Watts described as one of the most brutal and horrific acts he has ever seen. Here's what Columbia Police Chief Skip Holbrook said during today's press conference. Before I get into the details of the case, uh, let me first identify the suspect that's been arrested. His name is Kenneth Kanzader Jr. of Paris, California. His date of birth is 11-10-1983, November 10th, 1983, and his picture is, is to, my, to my left and your right. A Sumter man is behind bars after authorities say he set his girlfriend on fire. 44-year-old Roy Hulin is accused of threatening to shoot his girlfriend and neighbor during an argument Wednesday at their home in the 750 block of Purgeon Lane. According to deputies, Hulin later used lighter fluid and a cigarette lighter to set the victim on fire. She suffered severe burns to her face, neck, upper body, and hands. She's being treated at the Augusta Burn Center. Her condition is not known. His real name is Colton Thompson, but to Gamecock Nation, he's Gamecock Jesus. Thompson, a VA registered nurse, is headed to the Final Four, courtesy of fans and alumni of the University of South Carolina. A GoFundMe page raised over $7,000 to send Thompson, his two sons, and a lifelong friend to Phoenix. The USC Gamecocks take on the Gonzaga Bulldogs this Saturday night. Tip-off is at 6.09. Sports director Mike Gillespie is in Arizona and will have updates. You can find more of Gamecock Jesus' story by visiting abccolumbia.com. Get breaking news, weather alerts, up-to-the-minute traffic updates, sports, and more when you download the free ABC Columbia mobile app. Be sure to join us tonight for the news at 6 and 11. Start your day with Good Morning Columbia tomorrow at 5. Then stay tuned for GMA. I'm Kimberly Davis. Enjoy the rest of your day and keep your umbrellas handy. Thanks for watching.